This is an easy guide on how to install mods for Schedule 1. There's already a few mods out for this game. Whether you're looking to play around with a mod menu, enhance your player speed, or even some multiplayer quality of life add-ons, there's a little bit of something for everyone. So let's get started so you can customize your playthrough. We'll first need to download the Melon Loader. This is going to allow us to inject these mods into the game so they work. Make sure you take a look at the requirements because you're going to need the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ in order for this mod loader to work. Then you have the option for Windows or Linux automated installation. So if you just click on the green hyperlink, it'll ask you where you want to save your exe file. And then from here, we're going to need to open up a file explorer. We'll go ahead and navigate to our downloads tab. And then from here, you should see that Melon Loader installer. You can go ahead and double click on this. And inside the UI that pops up, you should see Schedule 1. If you don't see Schedule 1 though, you can instead add the game manually. So once you press this button, you'll need to manually sift through your computer and find that game folder. Since this is a Steam game, if you go ahead and highlight Schedule 1, right click, go over to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. All you need to do is then go to that search bar and then copy this address. So if you need to manually add the game in the melon loader, you can then paste that address in the search bar, press enter, and then you'll be good to go. Now, once we're all good, we'll go ahead and click on schedule one. And on this next page, this is gonna be the install path. So this should be your game folder. You have the option to select a version if you need to for some reason. You're able to enable nightly builds, which will be the latest and greatest version of Melon Loader. And then this green button should say download or something similar. So we'll go ahead and press that. You should see a progress bar initiate and then a successfully upgraded prompt screen. Once it's done, you can just press OK. And then from here, you can just exit out of this window. Now we're going to need to go back to our Schedule 1 game folder. So again, we'll right click on Schedule 1, go to Manage, and then Browse Local Files. Here you should see a new Melon Loader folder, but you're also going to need to make your own mods folder. So in an empty space, just right click, go down to New, and then press this folder icon and name it Mods. Inside of this mod folder is where we're going to be installing our .dll mods. And we'll be getting these mods from a website called Nexus Mods. This is a 100% free website, so there's no worry about having to spend any money for this. You do, however, need to make a free account. So make sure you create one and log in so you can download some mods. Once you do find a mod you like, if you go ahead and go into the mod page, on most mods, you see a requirements tab. If you go down and hit this drop down menu, it'll tell you the required mods that you need. Most mods for this game as of right now will require the melon loader. So since we have that installed already, we should be good to go. If you scroll down a little bit more, you can see an overview of what the mod will offer you, as well as if you need to do anything to actually get it to work in game. So once you're satisfied, if you go back up to the top and click on the files tab, you're going to need to hit this manual download button. Once you do press it, you may need to hit download one more time, and then you should see that your download has been completed. Now you will need some kind of unzipping software, whether that be WinRAR or 7-Zip. And if you need help with that, I'll leave my WinRAR guide down below in the description. So you can check that out just in case. But from here, we'll go ahead and open up the zip file. And in here, you should see the mod in that DLL format. We'll simply just drag and drop this inside of our mods folder. And once you successfully have done that, you should see your dealer mod inside. And since this Benji More Customers mod pairs well with this mod, we'll go ahead and install this one too. So again, we'll go into the Files tab, go ahead and hit that manual download, download again, we'll open up that zip file, and then we'll go ahead and drag that DLL file inside of our mods folder. Now, once you have all of your mods installed, you simply just need to click play through Steam. And once you do that, you'll see a melon loader screen pop up. This is basically just a command prop window, and it's just injecting the mods inside of the game so they work properly. Once the loading has been completed, your game should boot up. And keep in mind some mods like the Packager Speed mod, you need to customize on the title screen before you start your game so it takes effect. And then from here, you should be able to launch your game with no issues. Now we have a few mods that are installed right now, such as Movement Boost, so your character moves a little bit faster. And for certain mods like Movement Boost, you sometimes have the option to configure it. You just need to launch the game once with the mod installed. And once you've done that and exited out of the game, you can go into user data. We'll go into the Speed Boost folder, since this is the Movement Boost mod. And then this config.json file, if you double click it, there's going to be some parameters you can change. So you can double or even triple your base movement speed, and then you can turn the mod on or off by changing this statement to either true or false. And if you do make any changes to these JSON files, make sure you always go into that file and then save. And also never try to modify this if you are in game currently. There's also a pretty cool mod called CDXX. So if you go into your phone, to your messages, you should see a new message from CDXX. And once you click inside the message, you have a whole bunch of different options. 
to give you the upper hand in game. So if you go into player management, you select your player name. You can give yourself cash, which gives you one band. You can give yourself some XP. You can enable super jumps. So now you can jump higher than the Incredible Hulk. You can enable fast walking as well, which makes you move like the flash in town. Don't press the kick button because my game froze. You have other options as well, such as a mobile bank, so you can deposit and withdraw money from your phone. You can teleport to various locations or even save your game and unlock achievements. This mobile mod menu definitely comes in handy. So now nothing should be stopping you from running these streets. Hopefully this quick and easy guide helped you out. And if you want to see the latest and greatest mods for this game, as we get more and more updates, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Until next time though, we'll see ya. Thank <laughs> you.